Hello everyone. Currency. So currency are a pretty big deal in RPGs because they can use, they can be used for many different things. Um, if you want a really grindy uh, game design, for example, you will most likely use currencies to unlock some kind of items and so on. Anyway, all of that to say is that it's important and that I spent some extra time on this module because I really wanted you to be able to fully customize your currency in RPG Builder. And I also wanted the entire process of conversion and uh, reducing the currency, increasing the currency to be fully automated. And you just have to um, quickly set them up in like a few minutes in the editor and that's it. So um, for the demo and uh, for this video, I'm going to be showcasing a very traditional currency uh, system, which is copper, silver and gold. Um, so let's take a look at how uh, currencies are set up. So here we have copper. Copper in this case is part of a group of currency, right? So copper, silver, and gold. Copper is converted to silver and silver to gold. And gold is the um, highest currency in this group, right? So this is important to know um, because each of those currencies will have different uh, settings. So of course you have a name, a description, and an icon. You can choose to have a minimum and a maximum value for this currency. You can also choose for this currency to start at a specific amount if you want your characters to start with a certain amount. In this case, it's zero. And here we have the conversion setting. So this is um, what really needs to be uh, well set up because if anything is wrong here, it's not going to work properly. So you have to be careful when you create your currency. Just make sure that you're following exactly what, that, what I'm going to be explaining. So the amount for conversion, nothing complicated here. This is 100% up to you. You choose whatever amount you want to be converted. So in the case of copper, I want 100 copper to be converted to one silver. In this case, we just assign 100. Then it says to currency. To, so to which currency is it going to be converted? In this, case, in this case, you will just you know create the other currency and assign it here. In this case, you can see that we have RPG currency silver. The lowest currency, this is very important because it's used in the codes to um, make things easier to just, you know, know what type of group you're in, etc. Um, in this case, you would just assign the lowest currency of this group. So in the case of copper, copper, silver is still copper and gold, it will also be copper because copper is the lowest um, currency of this entire group. This is, the, you know, the first currency of this group. And then we have the above currency. So these are all the currencies which are going to be uh, superior to this lowest one. So once again, very simple, just add two in this case, and uh, you need to have silver first and then gold in the order of um, uh, value. So you could see it that way. The first currency is the lowest one, which is copper. Then we have silver and gold, and that's it. And it, this could keep going forever. Like you could have 500 currency in one group if you wanted to. Um, so that's pretty much it for the lowest one. And then this is the one with the most settings. But then if you go to um, the silver one, you see that we don't have the above currencies. The above currency part is only visible if the lowest currency is equal to the current uh, currency you are looking at. So in this case, um, we are looking at silver and the lowest currency is copper. So it's not showing us uh, what above, above currency uh, can have. Um, in this case, same as before, you can have whatever settings you want, minimum, maximum, and so on, amount for conversion. And in this case, it's of course converting to gold and not silver. So now we can just look at gold and the gold one, even less settings this time. It doesn't have a max, it doesn't start at specific amount. It also doesn't have an amount for conversion because gold is the highest one. So it is not converting to anything. It doesn't have a currency to which it's converting, but it still needs the lowest um, currency assigned to it. So it's easier, you know, when we calculate. So let's go in game and I'm going to quickly show you how it's presented. Um, whatever name. And so I'm going to maximize. So you see that for now in the inventory, I've made it possible to see those uh, three different currencies. So, so gold, silver and copper. And uh, in the new developer panel, I made it possible to give yourself some of those currencies. So you could give yourself, I don't know, uh, 980 copper, which is immediately converted to 9 silver and 80 copper. 
could give yourself silver, 980 silver if you wanted to. And um, in this case, it's converted to 9 gold and 80 silver. And you can also, of course, give yourself some gold. That's pretty much it. Um, let's go and see the um, merchant. So it's also covered in the previous video, the merchant one, but I just want to show you that um, the currency is indeed, you know, working well and going down. So you see that we have 80, 88 silver and 70 copper. We buy something that costs 1 silver, 10 copper, and the current currency is properly uh, reduced. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. One last thing I want to show you is that I made it very easy to um, display currency in the UI. So if you go in your canvas, um, let's look at the inventory. Here, so we have those uh, prefabs which are called currency slots. So in this case, we're looking at the gold one. And all they have is a um, currency display slot holder component on them. It's just a script. The script by default will have its icon assigned. So you see that under that we have the icon. So for the currency icon and the amount, that's it. And um, this will be assigned by default, the icon and text. All you have to do when you add one, for example, when you drag and drop uh, one of those prefabs or duplicate one, uh, you will just have to select here a currency. So the one you want or drag and drop it from your project. And that's it. Like you just uh, assign the proper currency you want it to display and that's it. This value and this icon is going to be um, initialized and start. So when we start, when we enter the game, this is going to be initialized and then it's going to be updated every time this currency change. So if you look at the copper and silver now, you see that as soon as we buy something, it's immediately updated. So um, yeah, that's uh, once again, something made very easy for you. And uh, right now we are seeing them in the inventory, but you could have this anywhere in your game. If you wanted to duplicate or drag and drop a prefab and put it on above your health bar or whatever, uh, you can do that. So thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any question or suggestion as always, and see you in the next video.